morning, everybody. Well, hi. Sorry, I keep forgetting it's not morning a lot of places. Today's topic is one of Dad's favorites. Learning about sex. I know about sex, but that's not what the topic is about. It's about another aspect of it. My learning about it. My brother's learning about it. How we learned about it as kids. Now, you know, the standard average way that Everybody talked about it. All the kids knew. They knew what they knew and stuff like that. But the one day that I'm going to tell you about was the day that he trapped us. It's that inevitable day when all parents have the sex talk, the birds, the bees talk. You know what I mean. Okay. I'm about probably 15, 16 sitting at the dinner table. There's the four of us eating. Now there I am, sitting there eating my dinner. My brother's right next to me. My parents are on the other side of the table. Out of nowhere. Okay. So, what about sex? (laughs) Now mind you, she says she's 15 or 16. I don't remember exactly when. If it were up to me, we would have had to talk when she was 50, but... That's okay. Go ahead. (laughs) So my brother and I are in shock. So what do you know about sex? And I basically gave the generic answer I learned in health ed, which I was taking at the time. So everybody knew. Mind you, I probably knew it earlier because I think I learned it in junior high, which was probably 13, 14. 15, just before 15. So I already knew. And I knew with this guy, sex wasn't happening ever. And my brother, you know, being the quiet, timid guy he did, he just didn't even know much about girls. So sex wasn't coming from him ever. Ever. So he was like, so... Let's talk about it. What do you know about sex? So I basically gave him the definition that I learned, the book definition that I learned from my then health teacher. I forgot her name. She was also our basketball coach. Another story. So I gave him the rundown. And then he turned to my brother and said, Well, what do you know? Now, my brother should have just copied me and said what I said, but he didn't. He gave the deer in headlights look. Uh, uh, six, uh, uh, uh. And that was basically it for a while, and he just kept, you know. And then he eventually got it out. But it was the longest, hardest dinner we ever had. And my mother's sitting right there going, really now? Now? Here? Now? And then this one. I just wanted to know if you knew it's important. Because, you know, pregnancy is very prevalent. And you are of that age. And I just wanted to make sure you had your head on straight and you knew what to and not to do. Dinner? Now? Talk to us about it? Pass me love, please. Seriously. Have a great weekend, guys. By the way, uh, the, the end of the tale was me giving strict orders to egg and sperm of my children never to move out of the vessels that they are in, and they will not, will not multiply and replenish the earth under any circumstances. Forbidden. Sex is something you have for my kids after 50. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is great. Any future people that wanted to date us, there's a hill over there you want to run to, get to it because he doesn't know how to shoot guns, but does it really matter? Look at this sunshiny face. Who would bank on that and not... Knowing how to shoot gun stuff too much either, by the way. I pity you all. Have a
have a good weekend. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.